Hi guys, Virginia here and I am here with my first design team project for the Kitaholic kits. So I am using the March kits and I just showed you the photo. It's a photo of me on my wedding day uh, with my little dog called Leon. He was our ring bearer so um, sadly he's no longer with us anymore but um, I wanted to scrap this photo. So what I've done, I've printed it out in black and white um, because I had the kind of idea to feature this stunning blue floral paper from the Misty Mountains collection so that's what I'm going to do um, right so I'm going to go with the dark blue I've kind of flicked through and pulled out the ones that I like so this dark blue is lovely and it, this is going to be kind of the basis and help me to ground everything around the outside of the page so what I'll do is I'm cutting it with a border of half an inch around the whole um, entire square off the page I don't make you watch it all there we go so see that fits around the edge of my white piece of cardstock I'm just going to glue it down with a very thin line of uh, glue um, because I'm going to do some stitching on this layer that's going to add some texture and a bit of color as well right I'm going to do the inside uh, section in my feature piece basically of this layout with this blue floral so what I'm going to do so that I can get a gap is cut a frame from this paper at three quarters of an inch so there's my frame that's three quarters of an inch wide I'm going to put that to the side and I'm going to use this piece see now there's a white gap I briefly contemplated leaving it whole but I thought no it's going to be too overwhelming on the page so I go back and I cut this next frame at two and a half inches wide now that gives me a lot of opportunity to get a lot of the pattern featured on the page but it still leaves a nice white space to make for me to add embellishments and stuff and to not overwhelm the page with so there we go that's done I will put a little thin just a very tiny bit of glue underneath to glue it down hold it in place and then I'm going to do a whole lot of stitching. So here we go. I'm back. I've done my stitching. I've used gold thread, white thread and a navy blue thread just to add some difference. And I've done straight stitching, zigzag stitching, backwards and forwards. Yep. Okay. So I've trimmed off all the ends. I've put some washi tape on the ends at the back. Um, just to make sure I've held it in place because I didn't bother to pull the thread through or anything. I've just cut them. Okay, so to add some more texture, I am going to use my little distress tool and distress all of those edges on the paper and I'm just ruffling up a few. But I'm being mindful not to fold them over too much because there's purple on the underside of each of these papers and I don't want the purple to come through. Um, this is going to be a very monochromatic uh, layer. Okay, so I've trimmed down my photo so it's just got a nice white thin border around it and I'm just going through the 6x6 six six papers uh, from the Project Life kit pocket page kit and just pulling out blues that I think will go um, coordinate well with those background papers and be nice photo layers for me so I'm going to ground my photo on the floral print the smaller version so that helps to make it a bit cohesive with the background paper <coughs> you can't really notice it but it, it's it's there it's just a subtle thing very thin border of it and then I will trim that and then just for a bit more texture and a bit of softness, I'm going to do two layers of white tissue paper behind my photo. Um, I'll just trim that off and then I'll do my second layer. Put that down and then trim it off. Okay, just trimming the edges off and I'll just distress those edges a bit. I'll use my paper distressing tool again as well there we go ruffle up those edges so now I'm looking for a third layer and I like this blue this blue embossed paper it was lovely but I didn't want to do a full layer of it um, here I am auditioning all the papers those other two weren't quite right uh, so I'm going to adhere that down but I'm only going to put it on the bottom right corner so you'll see me cut it so that it's not on the top now that's going to add a bit of weight to that uh, bottom right corner of the photo uh, to make it feel a bit heavier like it's meant to be where I end up placing it if that makes sense you'll see it in a minute 
Okay, so I'm grabbing the offcut off that 12 by 12 paper that I used for the border, and that'll be my final layer, and that will help to um, bring in what's on the border as well. It'll help to coordinate it all. Um, so just a very thin border of that. All of these have been very thin borders, but they they all um, go together quite well. Okay, so I've used my distressor um, edge distressing tool around the edges of those layers, and now I'm just going to put some fun foam. Uh, behind where my photo is going to go because I've propped up those edges of the paper on the background uh, so there's a bit of dimension there so I'm using a ton of adhesive ATG and glue make sure it sticks and there we go I'll have my little photo <coughs> mat down okay so I felt it needed a little bit of something gold if you know me by now um, I, I tend to have a lot of gold on my layouts, um, just a thing, <laughs> um, and I just grabbed this die, it was just, you could use a doily die or anything, um, this is just what I thought would work, um, and it's a Kaiser Craft Lacy Borders die, and I've just cut it out of some gold glitter cardstock, and I just basically wanted um, a bit more of a feminine decorative, decorative element um, a lot of it gets covered up, but it's, it's just want a little bit peeking out, and I think I managed to achieve that um, once I've cut it all up and put it down. <laughs> okay. I'm trying every which way using the offcuts, but I do end up moving it to under the photo. There we go. And that helps to pull that photo down and keep it, give it a good weight and make it feel like it belongs there. Right, I'm going to go through the uh, die cut pieces for the Misty Mountain collection and just pull out some of the blue pieces, um, some florals, a butterfly and bits and pieces that'll go. Um, I don't end up using all the pieces that I pull out. And now I'm going to go through the other two exclusive die cut packs. I've put them together in one pack, um, one little container. Um, and then I'm just pulling out a few little blue labels, a couple of options for a journaling spot um, and a couple of options for a date. <clears throat> Right, I like this cut apart sheet, the 12 by 12, so I thought I'd cut off one of these and that can help to form a basis of a, a kind of a larger cluster. So I cut off the square um, that says make your heart the most beautiful thing about you um, and that's going to form that's gonna form the basis of one of my um, clusters. So to make it pop off the page because it's blue and everything else is blue, I'm just going to adhere it to a bit of white cardstock and cut it out so it's got a nice white uh, frame about it. And that kind of echoes what's in the photo. It's got a nice white frame and it pops off the page more now. Okay, so to echo that photo cluster that I've got going on, I'm going to use the off cut off that gold um, glitter die cut. And I do eventually, <laughs> there we go, put it so that it's at the bottom peeking out of that square just the same as the photo. So it's repetition. Um, I don't do it three times, but that's fine. Um, Repetition to me is key to a successful layout, I think. Okay, some of the flowers. So everything's really tone on tone. So um, I'm just looking at getting getting things in places where you can um, tell that they are not a part of that background, but they look very at home, if that makes sense. Um, like that floral piece on the photo, it looks like if you looked at it, there you could it looks like it could be a part of the background paper um but when you look at it in real life it's got dimension um there's foam tape behind it so um yeah i don't know i don't know what i was trying to get get out there <laughs> i think i think you'll find, if you're new to my channel i ramble a lot <laughs> anyway okay i'm just putting pieces um from the bits that i've pulled out i'm going to cut these two little blue hearts off the string of hearts um, I didn't want the others because they were uh, not blue, pretty much. So I trim them off and I'll fuss around with them a bit. Just wanted me to put them. So I put one down there and I do end up putting one up above the photo, but that gets moved again um, later on. Okay, getting rid of those other hearts. I like this little banner, the little marble. It was a, a nice white to stand out, stand off that floral background paper and the sentiment on it was sweet so so sweet so perfect so um i thought that went well with the photo okay a little butterfly now that, that's definitely going on whenever i do a layout of 
my little dog Leon. I always put butterfly on it because he's a papillon. And papillon is French for butterfly. So a butterfly is a must, um, in my opinion. Okay. I tucked a little offcut of that gold um, gold glitter cardstock under there. That just repeats it because I'm going to end up with the third cluster here at the top right of the photo. So if I bring a little bit of each element in there, it works. I tucked a flower in, a little tab. Flower goes in there. And then that circular piece is not standing out, so I'm going to repeat the process of the white border around it and adhere it to some white cardstock and just trim around it. So that it stands out of the page a bit. And there we go, it's got a nice white border and it just pops a little bit more. Okay, these are some of the leaf uh, stickers, the long string of them off the 12 by 12 sticker sheet. Um, I thought I'd bring a bit of that in. And a few of the little loose leaves I pull off as well and just dot them around the page. I really liked how this, how it all turned out because it feels almost like uh, you've fussy cut around uh, the paper. Um, and just left bits of the flowers sticking out, but um, without the effort of fussy cutting. <laughs> I don't like fussy cutting. <laughs> okay, All right, leaves. I tried it there, but it ends up going up the top. There we go. That's pretty. And it just break, breaks up a bit of that white, so there's, there's not too much white. Okay, I'm going to trim around these hearts. The little white borders were too, too big for me, so I've done that. Um, a little sticker off the 12 by 12 sticker sheet. This one says together. And a lovely blue. And that's perfect for the page. But I do just go and cut a little um, banner end in it. Because I didn't like the square. Everything was getting a bit boxy. There we go. Happy with that. And I'll stick that down there. Okay. Right. I'm liking how everything is looking, so I'm going to go and glue everything and adhere everything down. So I put glue under everything that is flat on the ground, and then anything that is propped up off the page, I ended up putting um, two layers of double-sided adhesive foam just to give it um, some stability on the page and so that it won't get squashed or anything. And I don't make you watch all of it. Here we go. I'm going to show you this one. I just put some foam foam on it. This one was a single layer. Um, but behind that larger floral piece at the bottom left of the photo um, and behind that white banner was two layers of foam. There we go. Rightio, just finishing off the little hearts, a little bit of foam behind this heart. Okay. <clears throat> And I apologise if you can hear motorbikes. I've got the boys out in the paddock outside picking up uh, newborn calves. So um, they've been a bit noisy. Radio. So I have put written my date on that tab to the right hand side of the photo. I've done my journaling. And I'm just putting a few of those Coco Vanilla uh, Studios More Than Words epoxy stickers. So I, I cut it out because I fussed around a long time. <laughs> Um, but I put a little heart in a little circle in each of those clusters, just the white ones. Um, I didn't want to bring in any colour. Um, I've also punched three little gold butterflies out of the gold glitter cardstock with my little uh, tiny butterfly punch. And I'm going to put one in each of those clusters as well. And lastly, a little bit of gold um, Heidi Swap Colour Shine. Just sprinkled around the page just to add a bit of colour and to break up that white space. And after that... Uh, that'll be it for my layout so I hope you enjoyed the process um, and I'll see you next time bye guys mm -hmm.